Hey, this is Steven, and I'm going to show you how to use my Gravemaker and Fencemaker projects to customize your own graveyard. This is one of a few tutorials that are sort of companion pieces to my Spooktober Models and Projects pack. The pack includes projects that I've set up in a way that can get you customizing your own scenes very quickly. There's a link to more information on that in the description. I'm going to show you how you can mess around in this graveyard and kind of customize things a little bit. You see we have all of our tombstones laid out, we have the ground that they're actually on, and then we have our fencing over here that's made up of these uh, chunks of pillar and uh, iron rods. Let me start out by getting rid of these graves for just a second, I'm just gonna hide them. And now I'm gonna go into our fence maker object up here. So this is a cloner and inside of it, there is a null, so there's our bars, and then there's this cube object that makes up the pillars. All this is doing is it's duplicating it along a line. You'll see in this cloner, we have it set to linear and this count section, if you crank that up and down, you'll see that it creates more or less fence. We can make a graveyard shape out of multiple fence makers. So I'm gonna take this fence maker and I'm gonna put it over here in this, uh, let's put it like right here. And I'm gonna crank this up to, looks like 12 will be good. Okay, now I'm just gonna copy, control C, control V, copy and pasted it. I'm just gonna move these together. I'm gonna to call this fence maker two. Okay, and then this one, I'm gonna move it over like this. Okay, and now I'm gonna copy and paste that one. I'm gonna call this one Fence Maker 3. And on this one, I'm gonna rotate it. So holding Shift, I can rotate them in perfect 10 degree chunks. So I'm gonna go 90 degrees. Now I'm gonna move it. You can kind of roughly line this up. And then we're gonna crank this down. Oh, perfect, seven seems to work. Basic outline of it. But let's say we want like a little divider in the center too, just to kind of break up the space a little bit more. So copied and paste that last one again, up right about here and change this to three. Where's that end? Four. Great, copy and paste that. I'll put this one, copy and paste that. Put it right, let's put it right here. And let's say that that is generally the layout of our graveyard, okay? Now we wanna lay out our graves. So let's turn this back on and you could see that they're kind of everywhere. It's kind of a mess and they are intersecting with chunks of the fence. So unless you're building fence over a grave, uh, we wanna change this. So I'm gonna go over and open it up and I'm going to select our hair object here. So. All this is really doing is placing instances of some objects wherever I paint hair material. And I've chosen to paint the hair material on this landscape. Just in case you ever wanted to edit where your graves are being placed, if you click on this hair object and you go over to guides, you'll see that it is linked to the landscape. So whatever you drag into this box, whatever geometry you drag into this box, it'll place hairs on it, which will be where your gravestones pop up. Now, just remember that it needs to be an editable mesh. So if you place in just a cube like this, it's not editable yet. So what you need to do is you can need to come over here and hit make editable and it should go away. So if you know something's editable when you click on it and this is not a button anymore. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. We don't want any of these graves overlapping with things. So I'm gonna click on this hair object and then over here in simulate hair selection, rectangle selection, I'm gonna choose which ones I wanna get rid of. So I'm just gonna come over here and highlight a big chunk and hit delete twice. And there we go, it cleared out the section. So now that our graveyard is pretty cleaned up, um, I'm gonna change the direction of these stones before we start placing in some more. So over here in this Grave Maker cloner, if we go to transform, we have these rotation options and that can, you can kinda 
spin these over if you ever wanted to make your graves dance or something, just animate it. But uh, we want to spin them around to face us. So we're going to make this negative 90 degrees. And that's looking good. Now let's place some new gravestones. Let's put some bodies in here. If we click on hair, go to simulate, hair tools, and add guides. Now when you click in here, you'll see that you are literally painting in graves. So I can just drag along right here and it'll paint graves. So I have the settings in here for minimum spacing at 80 centimeters. This is so you don't get any overlapping geometry. You'll see if it's down to something like five and you start painting, you'll have these gravestones that are really close to each other and they'll just start overlapping and it doesn't really sell well. So you could see how close they get. So I'm gonna undo that, change this back up to 80, start painting these in. Now, another thing that you can change is in this random effector. This is where you can start playing with how these pop up in sort of variations. Um, you could change rotation if you kind of wanted to make this look a slightly more weathered look. You can also change the scale of things. So if you uncheck absolute scale, they'll really drastically change. Uh, this can kind of throw it off because obviously it's like, you know, this like very, very tiny person has their little grave. Um, so I'm gonna pop that back on. But you know, you could mess around with all this and get some really interesting results.